Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this episode, we're going to explore the historic mining town turned tourist town of Bisbee, down in the far southeastern corner of Arizona. And we're also going to go explore the Dragoon Mountains up behind camp, so stay tuned. For our visit to Bisbee, we're still boondocking away from everyone else, along Forest Road 687 within Arizona's Coronado National Forest, at the foot of the Dragoon Mountains just north of Tombstone. If you'd like more information about camping along Forest Road 687, watch our previous episode number 143 on Tombstone, which we'll link to right here on the screen. Bisbee is located about 24 miles south of Tombstone, and the drive across the floor of the Sonoran Desert and up into the Mule Mountains is incredibly scenic. Less than eight miles from the Mexican border, Bisbee was founded as a copper, gold, and silver mining town in 1880, and named in honor of Judge DeWitt Bisbee, one of the financial backers of the adjacent Copper Queen mine. Because its plan was laid out to a pedestrian scale before the automobile, Old Bisbee is compact and walkable, but not a place to drive your RV. The town's hilly terrain is exemplified by the old four-story high school. Each floor has a ground-level entrance. Mining in the Mule Mountains proved quite successful. In the early 20th century, the population of Bisbee soared to more than 9,000. In 1917, open pit mining was successfully introduced to meet the copper demand during World War I. Mining operations in Bisbee ceased in 1975, and heritage tourism replaced mining as Bisbee's economic driver. Artist Stephen Hutchinson and his wife Marcia purchased the Copper Queen Hotel, as well as other buildings in the downtown area. Actor John Wayne was a frequent visitor to Bisbee and the Copper Queen. He befriended Hutchinson and eventually partnered with developer Ed Smart in his real estate ventures. Bisbee became a haven for artists and hippies fleeing the larger cities of Arizona and California. Today, the historic city of Bisbee is known as Old Bisbee and is home to a thriving downtown cultural scene.
It's fascinating that in some parts of town, they've merely paved over the wash to build a street, with houses and other buildings constructed right up to the edge of what was once the wash. Now, for the few days that we've been camped here, I gotta be honest with you, the Dragoon Mountains behind me have left me absolutely fascinated. Not only is this western slope of the Dragoons visually striking, but according to my topo maps, it looks like there was a lot of mining activity that took place in those mountains years ago. So I wanna head up there and do a little bit of off-roading and see if we can find some remnants of those old mines. We're continuing up Middlemarch Road past camp, up towards Middlemarch Pass, where we're already spotting tailings piles and other evidence of past mining activity throughout the Dragoon Mountains. At the bottom of the east side of the pass, we'll fork left into Middlemarch Canyon and drive up the wash to try to find some ruins on our topo map. The trail, however, is quickly deteriorating. The rough trail, however, has paid off by delivering us to some ruins of what looks to have been a small milling operation for ore from the numerous nearby mines. So we really hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us to check out Bisbee and the Dragoon Mountains of southeastern Arizona. We're about ready to get packed up and head off to the southwest side of Tucson, where we're going to meet up with a fellow YouTuber and prepare for your next week's episode of Grand Adventure. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, now's the time. Go, smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. That way you can come along with us on each and every Grand Adventure every Wednesday evening. We would be honored if you shared Grand Adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. And we always love to hear from you with your feedback and comments in the comments section down below. Now, it's extremely important to us that if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. And until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.